Hi friends, I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher. Today we're going to talk about uric acid. This was a request from a viewer. What is uric acid? Well, uric acid is a natural metabolic byproduct. It's created when your body breaks down purines, which are found in your own cells, DNA and RNA turnover, certain foods. This means that uric acid is not a toxin. It's not a mistake and it's not something your body wants to eliminate entirely. In fact, this surprises many people. Uric acid is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the human body. It neutralizes free radicals and protects blood vessels, neurons, and your mitochondria. Humans lost the enzyme uricase millions of years ago, which means we naturally run higher uric acid than most mammals. And that appears to have been evolutionarily advantageous. So the question is not, is uric acid bad? The real question is, why does it become a problem in metabolic environments, but not others? Uric acid on the standard American diet. This is where things go wrong. On the standard American diet, uric acid rises in a pathological way, not because of meat, but because of metabolic dysfunction. Here's what drives high uric acid in that environment. Number one is fructose. Fructose metabolism directly produces uric acid and simultaneously depletes ATP, increases oxidative stress, and drives insulin resistance. This is why soda, fruit juice, and healthy sweetened foods are strongly associated with gout. Number two, insulin resistance. High insulin levels reduce uric acid excretion by the kidneys, so even normal uric acid production becomes a problem when clearance is impaired. Number three is chronic inflammation. Inflammation lowers kidney filtration efficiency and primes joints for crystal deposition. Number four is ultra-processed foods. Seed oils, refined grains, alcohol, and additives all worsen oxidative stress and kidney handling of uric acid. In this context, uric acid becomes poorly excreted, more likely to crystallize, a marker of deeper metabolic damage. This is where gout lives. On a carnivore diet, the metabolic environment is completely different. Yes, meat contains purines, but purines alone do not cause gout. Here's why uric acid behaves differently on carnivore. Insulin drops means the kidneys excrete uric acid efficiently. No fructose load. Without fructose, uric acid production is dramatically lower, even with meat intake. Reduced inflammation. Lower inflammation means joints are less vulnerable to crystal deposition and improved kidney function. Better hydration signaling, electrolyte balance, and lower oxidative stress support clearance. Transient adaptation phase. Some people see a temporary rise in uric acid early in ketosis. This is due to ketones competing for excretion rapid fat loss, and cellular cleanup. This is temporary, not pathological. Once adaptation occurs, uric acid often normalizes or improves, even at higher meat intakes. This is why many long-term carnivores see gout improve or disappear. They can eat red meat daily without issues and no longer need uric acid-lowering drugs. So is uric acid the enemy? No. Uric acid is a signal, not a cause. It reflects metabolic health, insulin status, kidney function, fructose exposure, and inflammatory load. Blaming meat for uric acid issues is like blaming firefighters for the fire. Fix the metabolic environment and uric acid behaves exactly as nature intended. So here's the final takeaway. If you're eating whole animal foods, low carbohydrate, low fructose, low inflammation, uric acid is not something to fear. But if you're combining sugar, alcohol, ultra processed foods, chronic insulin resistance, then uric acid becomes a warning light, not the villain itself. Context is everything. 
If you found this helpful in uric acid, give it a thumbs up. Share this video with someone who is concerned about their uric acid content or getting gout on carnivore, because it's not the carnivore that's doing it, it's the fructose mostly. If you leave me a suggestion, this video itself was a suggestion that someone asked me to make a video about. And if you leave a question or a comment, I'll respond. Thank you for stopping by and come back tomorrow for the next video. Have a wonderful day, take care.